there was a lot of anger this past uh, couple days because of the the streaming uh, and the lack of streaming of the Yankees Mets series. You know, in certain areas where certain people have access to this access, and it was primarily ex streamed exclusively on Amazon Prime. So a lot of people were not able to access it unless they had Amazon Prime. And just for a membership of that, it's like $130, $140 annually. So you can't really blame people for being angry about this stuff. I mean, how many memberships do we need? And we talked about this before. You know, as long as they keep doing this and hosing fans out and making it more difficult to access their favorite team, to watch their favorite team, people are going to continue to be upset about it. They're going to continue to voice their frustration and gripe, and you can't really blame them. Like, how expensive and how difficult? You know, it's almost like you're punishing fans for watching you, for watching your team. Like, you know, it's it's already expensive enough to go to a game with tickets and parking and traveling there if you're not driving and, and concessions and merch and like everything else it's already ridiculously expensive now you're adding layers of fees for <coughs> for fans and it's like excuse me how many things do you guys need to monetize yankees i mean it's, it's getting ridiculous and there's some other you know there's some other teams at mlb deals too and it's just getting it's getting outrageous and that's one of the go like let me know what you think if you're if you guys are getting and gals are getting hosed on certain areas if there are certain games you cannot watch and you rely on the live streams or, or other things because, you know, number one, I'm sorry that you're going through that because it sucks. And, but, I mean, again, <clears throat> this is where I'm disappointed and kind of frustrated with our with our team, the Yankees. I know it's not the players who are doing it, but it's the organization. It's Hal and the rest of them who have to find more ways to make money even though they're already worth $10 billion. Like, how much more is enough, guys? I mean, this is crazy. And again... You know, if, if I were me, I'm, 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 I'm making sure that everybody can watch the most important, like the most significant series of the season, like the Mets Yankees. It's almost like it's, it's almost like a Subway series. It has an atmosphere like that. So, wouldn't you want to watch? Have everybody able to watch it? I mean, how much? I don't know. I didn't even know what to say. Like, how much? How much is enough, guys? Why are you doing this? And again, do you care about your fans at all? I mean, really. I mean. Like, you know, sorry to vent about this, but this is ridiculous, and I'm pissed off on the behalf of thousands or potentially millions of fans who can't watch these really good games. And it was a, there were two good games against the Mets, two four to two wins, and and a lot of people didn't think they were going to win the games, but they did. They swept the Mets at home, just like the Mets swept the Yankees at City Field. So, and they are putting themselves in a little bit of a better spot here, getting developing a little bit of momentum. And like now, it's you know how many more games are people going to have to miss? And are they going to miss playoff games and whatnot, too? And hopefully the playoff games are nationally televised. But, like, how much more games do people have to miss out on? 25 here, 20 there. It adds up. People watching, like, two-thirds of the season and missing a third of the season. It's it's not fair to the fans. It really isn't fair to the fans. But, you guys, again, let me know what you think. I'm pissed off about this. I think it's, I think it's unfair. Um, if you like stuff like this, too, just, you know, listening to a fan – do stuff for the fan. Make sure you subscribe to this channel because I think it's a great place for you. And if you do, hit the notification bell because I don't want you missing good content either. But this type of stuff really riles me up, and I think it's messed up. So let's get into this.